In this video, I'm going to be going over how to build an entire offense from scratch, and today we're talking about constraint theory plays. Constraint theory plays are plays that are designed to ensure that you're living in a perfect world. These could be quick snap plays, zone beaters, man beaters, blitz beaters, pretty much anything that is going to help you kind of have a change of pace or take advantage of people that are spamming the same adjustments over and over again. A constraint theory play, as I said, is really critical to offense. If you want to learn how to run the best offenses in Madden, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. These are full schemes complete with audibles, tutorials of how to actually use them all together, gameplay footage of how you actually use them in a game, but they also teach you transferable concepts that you can that will make you an overall better Madden player. So make sure to join the Patreon. The link's going to be in the description. I guarantee you that it's going to make you better at Madden. Now what we're going to be talking about today is our tight Y off scheme that we've kind of been building from scratch here on the YouTube channel. I've talked about a power play. I've talked about a counter play. Those are kind of the foundational plays that you have to have in any effective uh, offense. And today we're talking about the constraint theory play. So in tight way off, our power play, the play that we come out in every single time, is this play PA go slot cross. We talked about why this is such a powerful play. And then yesterday we talked a little bit about flood drive as our counter play and why this play is super effective as well. Now today, what we're talking about is our constraint three plays. What's a play that we can make, you know, one hot route or less, and it'd be really, really effective. And for me, it's red zone scissors. I think that red zone scissors is an incredible passing concept. It gives you big play potential against man and zone. It also is a really incredible match beater, and it's also really good against the blitz as well. So red zone scissors is going to be our quick snap play that we're going to be teaching uh, today. And uh, again, if you want to see the previous videos that are over on the YouTube channel, you can check them out. So red zone scissors, all we're going to do, this the only adjustment that we need to make uh, to make this play effective is we're going to take our left side, our slot receiver over here on the left side of the screen, and we're just going to put him on a flat route. Very simple. If you have hot route master, then you can, I would actually tell you, you can get away with putting him on a corner route. That corner route is going to be really good as well for what we're trying to do. But we're just going to put him on a flat route. And that's it. Snap the ball as fast as possible. You're going to see that this red zone scissors has a really good flat route to the tight end. You don't get those flat routes every in every flat route. Every flat route is not created equal. This one really shoots outside really quick. So it can actually serve as a really good man beater. Now, again, the hallmark of any play in Madden, you have to have the ability to beat man coverage, in my opinion, especially especially this year, this route to the running back um, can be one of the most effective corner routes in the game. What we're going to do is we're going to freeform that down and outside when our running back makes that cut. If you have the backfield mismatch or backfield master ability, this is a really, really good route. As you see there, just simple separation that we're getting on this running back uh, on this running back route. Again, I'll show it to you one more time, then we'll go over some of the other plays. You see here, it just cuts to the outside. You're going to possession catch that. You have to possession catch that. That way you don't drop it. If you do have um, the hot route master or slot apprentice ability on that receiver right there, you can throw that corner out on the field and kind of create a smash type concept, which I think is actually very helpful. So you'll see here, it's going to give you another way to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now, one of the best routes in this play is this route to CD Lamb. Um, it's not quite as good against off coverage man, but it's really pretty good against um, press man. Now, um, Another, we'll get to that a little bit in zone as well. But, you know, if they're taking away your tight end flat, if they're taking away your corner route with adjustments, and then they're going to have to basically choose, am I going to use her the in route, or am I going to give you a chance to hit me over the top with this throw to CD Lamb? Now, the way that you want to throw this ball to CD Lamb is you actually, it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a skill gap. You have to free form this, and you have to pass lead it, to the outside basically so you're trying to get the ball kind of over in that area of the field like that now you don't want to freeform it so much that you overthrow him as you just saw i did um but you want to kind of master the freeform a little bit because again they're going to have to drop somebody in coverage over to that right side to stop the purple um, or to stop the red zone like to stop that scissors route that we're getting from the back so now what it's going to mean is now you've got isolation, one-on-one -on -one potential big play over the middle 
to that receiver right there, which is really effective against man. And it doesn't necessarily matter if it's cover one. I'll show you something with cover two man in just a second. Um, but it's it's really effective um, even if there is safety help. What you're going to see here is even if there's safety help, if I freeform this the right way, I've got a pretty decent shot at hitting that, you know, regardless of what they do. Now, I did want to talk a little bit about, you know, what happens if you get kind of a cover, cover two man type look and they're pressing you. The short and elite is going to make this route significantly better, especially on CD Lamb here. So what you're going to notice is that this, this – um, you see him running right there, and then we're just going to basically freeform that up and over the top of that safety. Now, that is why we want to have the corner route on that side, which I'll show you real quick. So the corner route, what the corner route is going to do for us is this corner route a lot of times is going to pull this deep half out of the way, and it gives us a chance for CeeDee Lamb to actually go crazy. So you see here, it pulls that safety out of the way, and you can kind of throw that in that little pocket right there for a pretty big play. Now, this play is not only good against man, but it is also really good against zone. Um, you, again, you have that really good uh, flat route to uh, to your tight end, so you can shoot that out there quick. This red zone scissors route is a shallow enough corner that deep blue zones oftentimes don't even don't even play it. They, don't even, they act like it's not even there. Um, that was a cover four drop defense. I'm going to baseline and press it just to show you uh, what it looks like. Um, and again, you can you can put Johnson on a corner or a flat, either way. Uh, but what you'll see here, that's that baseline press quarter. It doesn't play it because it's that long developing corner, and it's a shallower corner that's going to put them in a pretty tough spot. Now they can't just sit back and play curl flats either, because again, we have this really good flat route to Taysom Hill. So we can throw that quick flat out there if we want to. Another thing that this play does, it's actually super underrated, specifically against zone, is what it does to um, almost like a seam wheel. So you can kind of throw this as a quick throw right into that little pocket. Now again, that's gonna be their user. If you think about it, where's their user gonna go at the snap? Their user is probably gonna come over in this area to try to take away that underneath route. So what this does is this is gonna kind of give you this little snap throw window right in there for Eric Dickerson. Again, this is a drop eight coverage. This is a very good blitz beater. I'm gonna show you why it's such a good blitz beater. Um, so one of the reasons why it's such a good blitz beater is because if you think about it, they're going to be right in here as a blitzer. Now, a couple things you're going to get, especially if they're pressing you, you're going to get these natural picks and rubs. And again, that quick throw right in that little area right there is super effective against the blitz. It's also really good against zone because of the fact that we're utilizing this tight end flat. So because we're using this tight end flat right here, now they're not going to be able to just say, okay, we're going to take away the, you know, the quick throw flat game because you've got that tight end to pull that flat out. And again, you've got that seam wheel and you can see how it kind of like plays like a little makeshift screen. So this play is really good against the blitz, really good against zone, man coverage. It's also really good against match coverage um, as well because it's going to put the user in a bad position. This is a perfect play for putting the user in a bad spot. You're going to see right here that the post route has a pretty decent shot. Again, you have that same basic concept there with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, the running back wheel. And what you'll see here is you can throw that right in there just like that, and that's such a simple little thing that is so natty, and they're gonna have to, again, consistently bring their user over the top um, to defend this. Now, one other thing that I wanted to talk about is you do have some big play potential with this if you have that corner route over there on that side. That corner route is gonna pull these zones back. What you'll see is if you wait on this a lot, you can get into a one-on-one -on -one potential ag scenario with that post um the, if you wanted that post to be a little bigger hit against cover four you would have to you know you would have to do a couple different things you might have to take the left side guy and put him on the corner so that you can have that dig to kind of influence that inside quarter zone so you see something like that again you're gonna have to really wait on this to cross the face of that safety which is going to make it take a little bit more time for you but just wanted to kind of make you aware that if they're in cover two specifically um this can be a pretty decent play for you because again it's only one hot route right and you're going to see right here how that deep half gets kind of influenced and then you got a chance to hit that over the top this play all in all is a just absolute beast of a play to stop it really takes tight y off i think to a whole new level because of that quick throw right there they can't just sit and pressure you out of cover two and just hope to jump a flat route now they have to actually okay i've got to stop that and i've got to stop that it's a multi-window route that is going to get open in multiple spots 
Constraint theory play is absolutely critical to your success in Madden, in my opinion. We have a ton of really good constraint theory plays in our ebooks over at the Patreon page. So make sure to sign up for the Patreon if you want to get all of our ebooks and our updates. The link is going to be on your screen. It's also going to be in the description. And I guarantee you that the Patreon is going to make you a better Madden player. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you over at the Patreon page.